Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to a pro 2v2 match. They were on Tournament A, and we have Big Size down in the bottom right with a China Infantry. Up in the top right, we have a Facey with the GLA Stealth in the blue. Down in the bottom left, we have a Seri with the orange China Nuke. And then up in the top left, we have hum uh, Hummy, or Humanity, which is the red USA Air Force up in the top left. So I believe this was a challenge between Size and Facey. This is just one of many games they played. It's probably a best of 11 or best of 9. They probably played close to close to the maximum. I don't know if it was a close set. I can't actually remember the final score in the end, but this is just one of the chunky games that I've taken from, I think, from Gentle just over the last few days or over the Christmas period, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good game. I think Big Size is fair to say the strongest player here. I think Seri is very, very good as well, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if Seri is able to give Size a hard time. Uh, he is the nuke, though, against the inf of Size. That's probably going to be pretty hard, but maybe, uh, given the replay size, maybe we're going to get to nuke mix. But actually, Hummy is Air Force, so actually, yeah, taking into account the armies, Size probably doesn't want to be making an outpost, uh, or at least a fully loaded outpost, against the nuke, because there will be uh, Raptors out from uh, Hummy very, very soon. I've got Facey here as well. Will he be able to compete here with Hummy and Seri? I don't think he's too far behind, to be honest. I think he will be able to uh will be able to make some mark here, but probably considered the weaker, weaker team player. I mean, I'm moving in with a wrap. Is he gonna pick off the worker? It does get the worker despite Facey trying to move that out of the way. The cancel his tunnel just in case the raptor was on that as well. Basically securing some buildings in the middle. This position is very, very important. But actually, I think this is an edited version of the map. Uh, not 100%, but usually that bunker can fire down relatively easy. But there's different versions of this map. There's V2, I think there's even a V3 of this map. Got big size now with some outposts out. And he's against the Battlemaster spam here of Seri. Now, given that he kept his CC and will struggle... Keeping outpost alive versus the Raptors is going to be probably a pretty hard defense against uh, against the nuke. Maybe he just wants to spam infantry without the outpost. That's just going to lose an outpost here that was chasing this Battlemaster. Spacey not helping size at the moment. Although he is bringing some quads and a tunnel. This look like looks like they've all selected their armies, by the way. Um, which means the, the, the latest thing now is you called in and out. You go, you go in, you get your armies with random, and then you re and then you reset and go again, selecting your armies, so you know full well what you're against. Because on Game Ranger and Radmin, which is where most games are played nowadays, you can't actually see what you're against on the loading screen. It can be a massive imbalance. I mean, if you have a USA on your team, you can just scan, whereas the other team will have no scan at all, unless you use the frenzy of infantry. So yeah, these guys would have, would have had a, or should have had some kind of a plan going into this. Uh, but saying that, I don't really know if Facey has got too much conviction of a, of a plan. Uh, at the moment, he just seems to be trying to kind of take some map control. But he has lost this area here to Hummy. And he's currently not collecting at all on this second supply. And he's not sending quads over there to help. Saying that, that there are these Vs around. So those Vs might just be able to close this down anyway. So you don't want to waste them. But Hummy is going to move in now with his uh, Vs into Size's supply once again. Nice uh, split up of the Vs there from Hummy. Terry continues the Battlemaster spam, but Size has now got quite a lot of infantry here, as well as a flamer and an outpost. So I'm going to have to send some outposts back to deal with this. But these Raptors not being used all too much, I don't think. Hummy's playing pretty good. He's getting his oars, got his fire bases there. He's taking out pretty much all of Size's trucks, apart from these two here. But Size is actually getting two oils. Size was killing this. Raptor now used to defend that. Yeah, size is being hit a hell of a lot, and Facey is not doing a hell of a lot, actually. 
Size did take down middle supply, so he's got more cash. And he's actually taken this supply as well. But yeah, Facey at the moment seems completely overwhelmed. He's actually only collecting on one supply and he's still not got any workers here. Let me put in the Raptors to good use and kills one of the oils there of a big size. Yeah, big size has been taking a hell of a beating, but like I said it before, he has taken all of the supplies, so you probably would be primarily hit him, hitting him anyway because predominant units on the map will be science, which is size because he's just taking all the money, so that's naturally going to happen. Manatee losing some Vs here. We've got a chunk of quads here from Facey. Facey spending all of his cash. It's doing one long distance worker, but he keeps getting hit here, to be fair. I mean, GLA on one supply is hard anyway, but I actually think GLA on this map, when you've got a lack of uh, tunnels in places, can, can become very, very hard. And uh, yeah, these, these workers here just keep getting hit. Those Vs eventually now will go down. Everyone's spending their cash. No big float from anyone as of yet. Size is now back on his trucks. And Seri is now on Overlord DCMs and this uh, new cannon, which is going to be useful for pushing all this back. And he's got a nuke up in the air, so... Uh, well, not in the air, but he's going to have nuke MiGs in the air soon. Here comes a mini going to drop from big size. That's going to kill probably both of these Chinooks. Maybe even all of them, actually, because there's some here as well. I mean, he does pull this in time. Actually, not in time, because it's going down. So he's now capturing the base here of the Air Force player. But this nuke army now looking pretty formidable. I think actually what might be useful is uh, some hijackers from Facey to actually capture this uh, capture this army. Maybe bring some hijackers in from the back and capture some of these key units because your quads aren't really going to cut it. But he is moving out with the quads, moving uh, towards the air base. Where is he going to go though? He's going back now. Search and destroy. Even some quads there, but yeah, size is going to have a real hard time now because it's going to be nuke mix. Actually, is there even an airfield? It's not even an airfield yet. It's built a nuke with no nuke mix. It's a little bit strange from the from the nuke player because generally nuke mix are super super strong. Of course, you have got the raptors as well. Facing now collecting from here. He could have been collecting from here from maybe a while ago. Here comes a carpet bomb from the airplay, which is humanity. Is that going to hit anything, though? Yeah, it is. But it might get shot down. Just kill one truck, but ultimately that, that supply there can be uh, repaired. Ooh. That was bad from humanity. Oh my god, that was bad. That was so bad. That terrorist was not going to get anything, but he, like, drove three Vs into it. That was really poor. V should have stayed there until he picked that terrorist off and then moved out. So yeah, that was pretty bad there. Basically, continuing the quad spam is now making a palace. Here comes the Raptor trying to hit the lowest, but the ECM deflects the rockets there. Big size disabling the new cannon from an extreme range. It is too long, the range on the Super Lotus, in my opinion. It is a cool, quirky thing. I don't know if Facey just lost all of his units, by the way. It is a cool, quirky thing that you can disable things from long range, but against the nuke, like, it's so uh, uh, imbalanced anyway. And if you can disable things from long range, you can disable the ECMs and just move your outposts in, or disable the overlords and just move your outposts in. Uh, it is an uh, extremely powerful unit. But if Facey now pushing with all of his quads... There's some vetted quads in here as well. The DPS increase from vetted quads is absolutely insane it's something like 200 and something percent for like a, a vet free quad something crazy like that so i taking a bit of damage down here i say that actually that's facey's supply here comes a massive load of outposts though from big size it's going to take out these trucks that are long distance collecting from the top of this mountain 
And no nuke mig yet, still from Seri, which yeah, I just find really confusing. Even though the King Raptors are good, when there's an ECM in the mix, King Raptors don't do a hell of a lot. But one nuke mig here would just completely wreck this army. You see the, the Raptors come in, but they're not doing anything. The Raptors are actually dying. But if you shot that with a nuke mig, this whole army would be cleared. So that's a bit strange there from Seri. The Seri is losing his whole base, but he is not too bothered about it at the moment. He's actually just clearing the mid. Uh, humanity should really be sending those Vs to go and help with this. And that, uh, combined with shooting it with the Raptors, I think everything should go on this now. And just letting all these buildings just die. He's just giving size loads of XP. That's why he's like way ahead. He's like double pretty much anyone else. Off from Seri's on 2.5k, but size is also on 15k float. It's a team game, of course. He's going to be on 15k float. Seri now with a massive load of quads here in the middle. Sorry, uh, uh Facey. There's an artillery shot. Very nice. TNT. Ooh, from Facey. Very, very nice there on the firebase. Despite there being two pathfinders there, but it seems to be behind the firebase, which obviously didn't allow anything to happen. Size so behind this, still floating the 15k. I like that he's microing these units, but I would like him to be preparing something back at home. Maybe another army or building a nuke or a helix or something maybe not helix because there's uh raptors out but something no, don't think ever floating 15k in the team game is the most optimal way to play this whole army now gets cleared up and humanity does a really good job on clearing that up yeah he's got the strongest army in the game air force and when the pathfinders come up oh there's a nuke where's the nuke gonna hit oh there we go that's a good uh, good prediction Although it's not going to kill that much, really. What have you killed? A power plant and four trucks. It's not really that good. Probably there would have been better. I think the, the, uh, Surrey and Humanity will definitely be playing on uh, voice chat. And I think if Humanity would have beaconed there, I think that could have been a better choice. Or maybe like there. Because Nuke's a bit weird. Sometimes the buildings don't die unless you're really close to it. You maybe could have got both them two, though. Maybe. Okay, face now moving in with some GPS scrambled quads. Yeah, all of this stuff is doomed, really. No AP ammo yet from Facey. There's two fake markets and one real. Long distance skeleton from big sizes supply. Yeah, I would like to see him send all of his workers here. He did, he did just have something there, but it seems to have been cleared. Never agree with building two fakes. Because the reason you build a fake is to spend a little bit of cash and then upgrade it later on so you can preserve the cash in your in your bank. But building multiple fakes, and let, I mean, unless you're trying to bait out a spec to shot or an A10. But how, how do you know he's even going to shoot one of them? He could just shoot one of the real ones or shoot something else. So, yeah, I never agree with building two fakes. Rookie mistake, I think. Well, you do see some people doing it. Yeah, two, two fakes when you're on low cash doesn't this doesn't make any sense because the fakes don't bring in cash. It says $20 there, but it's not bringing in $20. So just pointless in my opinion. But I mean, especially building two fakes when you haven't even remade this supply yet and you've, you've even got a worker there doesn't make any sense. But he's long distance collected from size of supply though. It does not have worker shoes, one of the most important upgrades in the game. Finally remaking that supply, but it's about 50 miles away. <laughs> uh, Slice needs to repair his CC. We've got Search and Destroy deployed again by Humanity. Remember, carpet bomb here <clears throat> from Humanity is like on a two and a half minute cooldown. So even if this team starts to win the engagement, one carpet bomb can quickly level that back to zero. and try to get taken out by the Raptor. No one is level 5 yet, but Size is extremely close. So I think this probably next attack here from Size. Size does have the Subdominal Meshion. Really powerful upgrade. Doubles the heal rate of the uh, of the outposts if they take any damage. There's still some money here to be collected. You point two.
There's the cock bomb, but actually wasn't that good. Didn't even kill that tunnel. It's always a bit weird in the middle because you might click it there, but it might actually shoot a little bit further back because of the height of the terrain. It's a little bit strange. Because if the terrain was lower, it would fall in a different place, if that kind of makes sense. So yeah, you probably better always shoot over shoot and it will probably land over there on higher terrain from that side anyway. I don't know about that side. Maybe the same from that side. UPS scramble from Facey once again. So 3.7k. Facey's got the... Sorry, 3.7k XP. Facey uh, and Seri got the least XP, but Seri has been nuke against Inf, and that's always going to be a hard ass to kill things. Yeah, I'm just missing the nuke mix. That's the, the weird thing. Like one nuke make now would just wreck that. A $1,600 unit. You just click on that army and that whole army just gets wrecked. No brainer in my opinion. But you could just carpet it as well. Carpet is free. <laughs> also wrecks things. Even causes more damage. Very, very nice. Strategy Center by Humanity now built over here. There is a nuke mig now up. I don't agree with the strat being built over here because the strat is a super important building. And this over here is the most secure area. I mean, he's literally sim city off. Like, you struggle to even get units through. So I think back there is probably the safest place. Okay, even though there's a couple of fire bases here and there. Okay, Mig's now coming in from size. Size is now making some hackers. Basically doing his part, beacon in some hackers. Ty's so adamant on trying to capture some stuff. I uh, wonder if he'll get anything there. Nope. Well, sorry, yeah. Size is getting something. I mean, the uh, ambulance is not going to get anything. It's one minigun. Here's another nuke ready to fire by Seri. Needs a beacon now from humanity. Where is the best target? Maybe there. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think killing that spy is actually very good. Also, there would have been good because you deny those two markets for a while. Kill his radar van and his few units. That would have been good too. But size is probably MVP on this side of the team so far. So I suppose taking out that supply is pretty important. Because there is a lot of cash there. Yeah, 14k. Here comes a rebel on a bike from Facey. Going to die to the radiation. Yep. ECM parts in a strategy center. Everyday things. Here comes an artillery from big size. That nuke be trying to pick off some workers here. I don't know what it killed though. Here comes the artillery. It's going to be on the strat. Uh, ECM's going to die as well, I think. Yeah, Seri quits. Does he have a CC? I oh, know he lost his CC, so yeah, he didn't have a dozer since that. That's a big shame, really, because the support powers are absolutely massive. So, uh, Taking away the support powers there is crazy. And now it's 2v1. Two sets of support powers versus one. Two sets of hands versus one. Two lots of the micro versus one. And the right team has the uh, control of the mid as well in terms of like that supply. And uh, that one. AC lives building these supplies so far away, doesn't he? He really does. I mean, he's probably just trying to be careful of that nuke mig. But I think he even did it that far away before, when there was a uh, when there wasn't a nuke mig. <laughs> Why would you not just build it a little bit closer in speed of the collection? Why would you not get workers' shoes at this point in the game? Doesn't make any sense because like workers' shoes give you ten percent extra cash when you collect. So it'd make that 15k there into like 16.5k, for example. Doesn't make any sense. Hold the line. And you can make hits a couple of quads. 
All the line has been redeployed. Uh, do worry about the money for humanity because whilst he's got the strongest army, strongest support powers, he'll have leaflet, spectre, all that kind of stuff. He has, what, one Comanche and no secondary eco at all? Here comes a carpet, though. He'll probably just take out a few workers, but I think this might be an anticlimactic game. He does have a nuke. He's got this one Comanche flying around. Does he know where these are? He's trying to pick off a dozer here of big size. But humanity is known for staying in lost games. Uh, not saying this is 100% lost, but it ain't looking too good. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be another one of them anti-climatic games where it's just like humanity just loses. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Couldn't have turned that bad. You yeah, when you've got no secondary eco whatsoever, you have to question... Um, whether you can win. I mean, yeah, one Comanche and a, and a couple of support powers is good. But yeah, taking out the CC there of Seri for, for, um, by big size, like the capture on the by the minigun was, was very, very decent. And uh, yeah, an all round, all round solid game. Wouldn't say it was the highest level game in the absolute world, not the most insane in the absolute world, but definitely, uh, definitely a decent one. And one of the best I've seen on Tournament A in the last couple of weeks, at least. So yeah, you let me know what you think in the comments. GG, well played, and see you in the next one.